if you had to guess by looking at this picture, you would probably guess that you're looking at an Echo CS4510. And you would be wrong if that was your guess. This is actually the new Echo CS3510. This is making its way out to dealers here in the spring of 2020, and you'll be seeing a big push of this saw in the fall of 2020. The CS3510 will replace the CS352 in Echo's chainsaw lineup, and just like when Echo caught lightning in the bottle with their CS2511T, and they built that lightweight saw that packed a pretty good punch, they're doing the same thing here. If you like the 4510, you're going to love this 3510 because it's got a lot of the same features, but really lightweight and has a good bit of power for the weight of the saw. As of right now, the CS3510 only comes with a 16 inch bar. In a lot of ways, that's a good thing because hey, it keeps you from going back and forth, whether you need the 14 or the 16, and whether you want to spend the extra money to buy that 16 inch bar. So it takes all that up and down and back and forth out of the equation when you go to buy one of these. You know you're getting a saw with a bar that is matched to the performance of that engine, and that's always a good thing. The CS3510 has a translucent bar oil tank in the front of the chainsaw and a translucent fuel tank in the back of the chainsaw. You can see here by looking at the starter housing on the CS3510 that it is very similar to the one on the CS4510, and it uses the air injection method of cleaning out the large pieces of dirt and debris before pushing the air into the air filter chamber. The air purge bulb on the CS3510 is located at the back of the saw near the operator's handle. Directly above it is the choke lever. When pulled out, it sets the saw to high idle and will be released as soon as the operator squeezes the throttle. To shut off the saw, you can see here on the left, they replaced the old style metal toggle switch with the newer style spring loaded switch. So when the saw is running, to shut it off, you simply press down on the black button and it kills the ignition then automatically returns to the run position. This eliminates any possibility of pulling the rope, trying to start the saw while the ignition switch is in the off position. You can see here that the CS3510 has a new style air filter and on either side of the air filter, you'll find the metal locking tabs that hold down the top cover onto the chainsaw. That's right, these are metal and not plastic like you will find on most saws out there. Here you can see that Echo did a pretty good job of building a wall between the cylinder and the carburetor and air cleaner area. What this does is helps eliminate more dirt and debris from getting back in there to your air filter or being jested by the engine and shortening the life of the chainsaw. Here is a part that all you DIY guys are going to love. If you've ever tried to change the fuel lines on a chainsaw, you know that can be a real pain in the butt especially when you're trying to fish that fuel line down through a hole in the plastic tank and you're not sure if it's going to seal up or stay sealed up. Well, if you see where these fuel lines go away from the carburetor, down here behind the handle, down right there, that is a grommet. That's right. This has the same setup on it as the Echo string trimmers and leaf blowers and hedge trimmers where you simply pop that grommet out. All your fuel lines are in there. You replace the entire assembly. It's sealed up and off you go. The CS3510 uses dual bar nuts to secure the bar and the clutch cover assembly. And it has a side chain tensioning mechanism built into the clutch cover. This means you're never putting your hands near the hot exhaust when you go to tighten up your chain or remove the bar and chain. Looking in at the bottom of the Echo CS3510, you can see it has two anti-vibe springs down here to make the saw more comfortable for the operator to run. The oil pump for the bar and chain oil is not adjustable, but it is a clutch driven pump, so it's going to be more efficient and it is only going to use oil when the saw is revved up and the clutch is engaged and the chain is actually spinning. Also looking in here from the bottom of the CS3510, you can see that the sprocket is to the inside closer to the engine and the clutch is on the outside further away from the engine. We like this because it helps change the gyroscopics of a chainsaw. You move the bar and the chain in closer to the center line, it gives a better balance and improves that weight when you're rolling the, the saw from side to side. Makes it feel a little bit lighter than it actually is because everything is balanced so well. If you put that bar to the outside, it might not be a lot of weight, but because it's further away from the center point, it's going to feel like a lot more weight. 
Looking here at the front of the CS3510, you can see it has two large windows and the inertia activated chain brake handle, so vision is not an issue. You can also see at the front here, down here by the plastic dog spikes, that all the information for the saw is right there etched into the crankcase. That's your serial number, your model number, and all the important information you need. And again, as we said, you can see here that it has a translucent bar oil tank. That is why the bar oil tank is a different color from the rest of the crankcase. So here's the call outs from Echo. And you can see we did forget to mention when we were talking about the starter that uh, it is an I-30 starting system. So it reduces the starting effort by 30%. That's a good one for anybody that struggles to pull the rope on a uh, chainsaw because of the high compression. This is going to reduce your, your starting effort by 30%, so it's going to make it easier to pull that rope. It is a 34.4 cc professional grade two-stroke engine. And just a few more things here to note. The bar oil tank capacity is 7.8 fluid ounces. The fuel tank capacity, 9.5 ounces. And Echo says that this saw without the bar and chain weighs 8.2 pounds. If you're wondering about the sprocket, it is a spur sprocket. It is not a rim sprocket, so you can't change that around. Um, the saw comes with a five-year consumer warranty and a one-year commercial warranty. So that was a quick look at the brand new Echo CS3510. As we said, as the year goes on, you'll be hearing more about this saw, especially when fall rolls around. But they are available now. As we said, they are reaching dealers as we speak, so head on out to your local Echo dealer and check one out. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe.